Okay, high carb vegan blood tests are in. And Jelly Beans here with us today to discuss lab results. She's been giving me a bad time lately since she saw these lab results. Interesting lab results. Interesting lab results. We'll put Jelly Bean back up here. Interesting lab results, okay? Let me go over these with you. They are good, but they are bad as well. Okay, this is really interesting. Okay, we're going to start with the, the interesting stuff. This is the abnormality, the one abnormality. I, you probably, I don't know if you can see this. We'll try to get it in there. There we go. Okay. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Take a look at this. Cholesterol total, 154. Excellent. Triglycerides, 179. Whoa! That's almost a three-fold increase. 2.9 to be exact in my triglycerides. Okay, fine. HDL, 35. I expected those to be a little bit lower. That's fine. LDL, wow, 83. 83 from 147. That's a... Over a 60-point drop. That is impressive. Excellent. Excellent. That is wonderful in the LDL. But what happened with the triglycerides? What's going on? I don't think I'm not any medications. This is drive triglycerides up. Um, I'm eating low-fat diet. My best thought is that I have overconsumption. I think I'm eating too much now. In the beginning, I was losing quite a bit of weight, and now I'm kind of just sustaining about 133. I'm sorry, 163 pounds, because I started at 173, I dropped to 163, and now I'm kind of just sustaining weight. So maybe I'm eating too many calories being converted to triglycerides. I mean, 170, what was that? 179 is not anything to scream about per se, but when you had a value in the 40s, or actually it was in the 60s last time, now it's 170, you're like, whoa, and, and classically my triglyceride has been low. So I'm sure Durian Ryder, he would probably say, well, it's just you're dealing with metabolic damage, you're too early, and there's probably some truth to that, it's probably too early to make any determination. I mean, he's right, and if you're gonna give it a shot, you gotta make it a five-year stint. You know, that's a good stint. Um, one year, you know, maybe after one year, you might be able to see some results. But he's right, you gotta give it a good stint. So maybe I'm just reversing metabolic damage and this is part of the process. I'd be interested to know his comments and criticisms. Um, but I think it's overconsumption. I think I'm taking in too much carbohydrate and turning that carbohydrate into triglycerides. Well, let's go ahead and we'll go over the rest of the, uh, the labs here. Go over the rest of these labs here. All right. You can see here. There you go. Potassium, 4.4. Sodium, 140. Um, glucose, 82, that's all good. Liver enzymes are good. Albumin, 4.5. Um, is the protein. Total protein, 6.9. That's 0.1 point less than I had last time on a standard American diet. Um, so that's all really good. There's no problems there. That's... That's unremarkable uh, test exam here. Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, 190. No, I'm sorry. 934. Vitamin B12, 934. And I do take a B12 supplement once a day. 500. 500 of B12. Vitamin D, low in vitamin D. I need more sunlight. 26, right? Yeah. 26, I need a little bit more sunlight. I don't need a vitamin D supplement. I just need some more sunlight. That's what that means. Um, and let's see. Look at that. Okay, very good. And uh, that's that's pretty much it for these lab results here. The My 
my CBC was very similar. There was really no changes in the CBC, so pretty unremarkable there. But, I mean, <sighs> Jellybean saw these results, you know. Jellybean says, I mean, there it is. Right there. She's concerned. She sees the way I eat. No calorie restriction, you know. Maybe there's something to be said for this. Maybe if you're not, and I haven't been doing a lot of sport, although I did do two hours of physical therapy today. Um, I've been doing physical therapy, but I haven't been doing any really uh, cardiovascular sport or, or anaerobic sport. So that could be part of it. That could definitely be part of it. Um, if I was doing a little bit more sport, maybe, you know, increase the caloric burn, then I wouldn't be over consumption. But I eat till I get that full feeling, and I think I'm turning some of that into triglycerides in this high-carb vegan diet. So, I'm going to look at my caloric intake. Um, I'm going to increase my sport. I'm going to continue high-carb vegan. Um, the only change of my diet that I made that may occur is that I may decrease my caloric intake. So, I think some days I'm probably peaking 3,500 calories. Um, I know for sure on the days that I work, I'm usually about 23 to 2,500 uh, calories. Uh, but maybe on the days when I'm off, I'm peaking 3,500 calories. So when you take a look, maybe decrease the caloric intake a little bit. Um, I am eating a lot of fruit. It, and there has been some rumors out there that fruit can increase your triglycerides. But I, I, I think... I don't believe that. I think because that's, you know, we break, they're simple sugars, but we break the complex sugars down into simple sugars. So my thoughts are that this is an overconsumption problem. My body's like, okay, I have carbohydrate. I'm going to turn those into triglycerides so I can store my fat cells because I have all this extra excess carbohydrate floating around. So I'm just going to do that. And I was eating more pro, uh, way higher protein too much protein and too much fat before, so I didn't have that issue with triglycerides. Um, so right now, 163 pounds, you saw my lab value results, high carb vegan, uh, gonna watch caloric intake, not eat too much. Interested to hear your comments and criticisms. Um, I'd love to hear what Durian Ryder has to say about, about these lab tests. Um, I, ha I think I know what he would say, but, you know, but I, I, pro I could be wrong, could be wrong. Um, so comment, like the video, um, let me know what you'd like to see and subscribe to the channel and, uh, hopefully, you know, with a little bit of sport, maybe we can start to get these, we can get these lab values, uh, triangle strides down a little bit. All right. Take it easy.